Today we'll demonstrate how to build a dynamic login page in few minutes. Click on client panel to open the login page. Enter username and password. Click on sign in. Let's do this in our web series project. In our last video, we have created a simple navbar using ChatGPT. Now we link login page with client menu item. Let's go back to our project. First, find the default view.cshtml page within view folder, which is our website's home page. Find the client section within the code. Add my login to the ASP controller. Add my login view to ASP action. This actively means that whenever a user clicks on a client menu item, the control will be passed to the My Login controller. In the My Login controller, which we will create next, the control will then pass to the My Login view function due to asp.action and thus the my login view.cshtml page will be displayed let's create the my login controller navigate to the controller folder if you're unfamiliar with controller view and model watch parts 3 4 5 and 6 of this series right click on the controller click add then click controller. Click empty controller and click on add button. Name it my login controller. Click add. Navigate to the controller folder. Open my login controller. Copy the index function and create another function named my login view. Remember, the name of controller and function within controller must be the same. Specified in ASP controller and ASP action. Now, right click on my login view to create a new view. Click on Add View. Click on Razor View Empty. Name the view as My Login View. Within the View folder, open My Login View. and add your HTML and bootstrap code here for login page. No need of writing any code, just open chat GPT. Enter command. Generate HTML and bootstrap code for a login page. With two text fields, one for username and one for password, incorporate all these into a card container. Copy and paste the generated code into my login view. Run the application.
Oops, something is wrong. Now check. Click on client to view your login page. Here is your responsive login page. We will discuss the database connectivity and the rest in next video. Stay with us and thanks for watching the video.